okay guys so today we will learn about the common source amplifier with source resistance or you can say degenerative source resistance so here i am i am going to start the simulation in tanner eda so i have opened as edit of tanner eda as you can see here this is my as edit of tanner eda and uh, i have already taught you people in previous classes that how to add these libraries and uh, what is the name of the file i have already constructed this csm file in last class you can see and uh, now i am going to modify this csm file and i am going to add source resistance in it so these are my libraries this is my file and this is my cell 0 and i am going to construct the circuit for this so first what you need for the circuit we need pmos and nmos so this is my nmos under this device i will get to it i will place my nmos here so this is my nmos done now i need pmos i will place pmos here so this is my pmos done now i need source voltage sources uh, and ground so ground is here i will place ground below little bit below okay done now yeah voltage source i need voltage source Two voltage source, one VGS and one VDD. Okay, we need two voltage source. Okay, so done. Anything else we need? Yeah, one more thing we need resistors. So this is my resistor under this device. I will place this one here. Okay, done. Okay, so now we have to connect the circuit. Uh, this will go here because this PMOS will act as resistance, dynamic resistance. This will act as VDD. Okay. This will act as source resistance. Will be connected to NMOS. Okay, I've connected source resistance, and next is this VDS will be connected to NMOS, and this VDD ground will be connected to ground. Okay, so as you can see, my circuit is completed. this is my circuit uh i need to change the width and length of this uh, and most i will keep its width as 12 because i need to maintain the ratio of 50 w by l okay so this is 12 this is 10 no problem with that now the resistance i don't want to keep this much resistance i will keep its value on 1k okay i will give its name as rs okay this rs is 1k same circuit we have drawn in last class but the resistance was not there we will see the change in our gain because of this resistance what will happen to our gain see when you will do the small scale analysis small scale signal analysis and then you will find the input resistance and output impedance all these things and you will find the gain or according to that so at that time when you will find the gain of an amplifier cs amplifier without resistance you will find that is minus dm rd rd is this resistance resistance dynamic resistance and 
dm is the transconductance so the gain of the amplifier it will be minus dm rd but when we will attach this rs then what the gain will become it will become minus dm into rd by 1 plus rs okay so our overall gain will decrease by this ratio but why we add source resistance in it because of the stability my circuit become more stable stable and more responsive okay because one feedback part will be generated through this resistance so these are the benefit of source resistance so that's why we add source resistance in this circuit so we will see we will first change this voltage uh, voltage source uh, we'll name this as vgs and uh, we'll change this as uh, wait it should be changed as So I will make it to AC. Okay. So this is my AC voltage source. I will name it as VGS. Okay. Now what we need to do is uh, magnitude is one. Phase is zero. Okay. VDC should be zero point five. At least we find VDC by finding the DC operating point of this circuit first. But I am assuming it is 0 0.5. Magnitude we keep it to uh, 2 volt. And this will be in 5 voices. This is in DC, this is in AC. Now what we need, we need one command because we need to print the voltage okay so we will print the voltage in it keep this voltage here we haven't added uh, the output port from where we need to get the output so from here we will add one output port here and we will name it as V out and now we need to connect this circuit, uh, this output port from here because from here only we will take our output V out. So there only we will connect this P volt print voltage command, and this will uh, I am changing this print voltage command from transient to AC because we are going to do the AC analysis and we will observe the gain okay so this is it this is our circuit as you can see this is our circuit and uh, we will do the simulation in this circuit no issue with that so i am going to first check this circuit okay it is working fine no error First general so I have already added this library with his space capital T capital T I have already taught this in last class last video and uh, then we will come to the parameters we don't need any parameter to vary uh, just uh, do this to for the DC operating point analysis this is the transient or Fourier analysis from 100 nanosecond to 10 nanosecond uh, yeah Okay, 
and directly come to AC analysis. My start frequency will be 10, stop frequency will be 10,000, third number of frequency in between it will be 100 and the sweep type will be linear. Okay. So, this is my setup of simulation. Click OK and then I will run the simulation. Getting okay, this is getting this is point nine. This is in milli, so it will become minus zero point nine. From where it started, it will go till something. So I think I have taken less frequency here. That's why my magnitude plot is like this. Phase plot is okay, but it will go like this. But magnitude plot, uh, okay, so I have to vary the frequency more to see this graph, okay. Right now, I am looking at 1k here, okay. So, I have to change that in our setup. So, don't fade here. Hmm. So, this is okay. Fade is okay. frequency is 10,000 now it is just riding at 100 k stop frequency yeah and then again I will run this simulation So it's nice smooth. This is going till 100 k. Why I am okay? Brian, this is okay. Let me check them one at a time. Ah, uh, let's do something. This is AC. Make this change this BBB from 5 volt to 2 volt. Magnitude make it one. Okay. okay, I haven't given the body effect here. See, I need to give the body. I have to connect this one. That's why I am thinking that there is some problem with the socket. Okay. Yeah, now it's okay. Yeah, now I am getting the result. Okay, as you can see. So, this is my gain in dB. It's coming as minus 1.65. Okay. So, it is less. In without source assistance, what we have seen, it was about 5 point something or 4 point something like that. It is there. But here, we are getting less. 
so this is my common source amplifier with source system okay now what we will do you have to uh, note down this gain and you have to find the v out and v in ratio by converting it to the anti log okay oh, in your lab report and you have to attach this screenshot uh, now one more thing what I will do, I will remove this resistance and uh, I will connect one NMOS here which will work as resistance, okay. And how it will work as resistance, we have to connect this to So, and then body, 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 okay, done. Now again we will simulate the circuit and we will see our output. So, this is connected, this NMOS will be treated as resistance. Okay, you can see my, because of using this uh, NMOS, my gain is increased here, it is minus 6, okay, so this is quite good gain, we can see the changes here, the phase will be constant, it is of 180 degree phase shift will be there, so this my gain will change, okay. So you can see what are the changes we can do in this circuit. So you have to save this uh, file and you have to attach these screenshots, okay? And you have to attach the chart task here by your name. Instead of ABCD, you have to attach your name here, okay? So please don't uh, forget to write your name and roll number. Here also, you have to write your name with roll number. So, we have seen how we can simulate the circuit in Tanner and uh, circuit simulation you have seen the common source amplifier in previous class and here you have seen the common source amplifier with degenerative resistance. So, this is how we will operate in Tanner. Uh, you can save this file from here and uh, save its library from here. Okay, so we can use it in further experiment. Okay, see now you can see it has been saved successfully. Library, I can't save the library because of some modification. And stuff. 